Hello, and we are back again for our first meeting of the 2020 year. Welcome, and uh, could you introduce yourselves? Starting with uh, Alfonso. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> this is Alfonso. Hey, everybody. This is Alfonso, uh, Instructional Software Specialist for Sherryland ISD. Um, glad, happy to be here with uh, the rest of the GEG. Looking forward to some great info for um, this meeting. And I'm Karen Jackson, and I'm. This is my second second meeting, and I'm really happy to be here. And uh, thanks for the invite. Awesome. Okay, so to start with this. Um, I am Mr. G, Carlos Garza, and um, I'm going to start with some updates to our gig. For the first thing that I'm going to say is that we have a new Empower Captain. I'm not sure if you've seen the tweet that went out. And uh, that is uh, Maggie from region one and i'm not sure if you've seen the website actually geg.soutx.us under leaders there's a section that mentions the four different types of captains that we need and each captain should come from a different region um, that is part of South Texas, which is Region 1, Region 2, and Region 20. Um, Dr. Karen, because you have been an awesome supporter of our gig, if anything, what I would do is recommend you to be part of your own gig as the gig leader. Uh, but until I'm, I'm not sure if there is a gig in your area, because you joined because there wasn't a gig, if I'm correct. Yeah, it, there used to be, but it uh, it is no more that, as far as I know. Okay. So if anything, I would recommend you to be a leader for your region. I'm not excited or your area. I'm not exactly sure mm -hmm. how we would go about that. I'm going to see maybe the, uh, if I can find who the contact is for the previous gig to see if they're going to do something about it. If not, then I'll have to, or I will recommend you for leader. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm sure there's someone I could talk, talk to um, at TCEA. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I'll find somebody. If uh, you don't, let me know, and we'll take it from there. Okay, well, we're, uh, I'm just uh, learning. I'm learning a lot already, so I'm... I'm a, I appreciate you inviting me. Awesome. Thank you. Um, another thing is that now we have a podcast. So this same, um, this same recording that we're doing is going to be in podcast form. So we're going to have to be a bit more descriptive instead of just saying this. Mm. That way, our, whoever is late to the podcast and wants to listen to it on the way home, because it's difficult to watch a <laughs> video. It's a lot easier to just um, listen to it, or at least that's how I've seen it. I, I can't be watching videos on YouTube all the time. I listen to <laughs> podcasts on the way to work and back. Okay, and another one is our mission. Now, I have a proposal. It's on the agenda. I'm going to show the agenda and the proposal that I have for our mission would be GEG SOUTX is a South Texas community of Google using educators who share ideas to meet the needs of students through technology, both in the classroom and beyond to grow in the global economy. And I would also like to have a vision that is GEG related and the four Values that GEG has are empower, inspire, share, share, and learn. 
I'm not sure if we should go with those four for the vision or maybe use those as the mission instead of what I have right now. But I would like to have ideas. I don't want to make this a thing of mine, but a thing of ours. So if you have any ideas, uh, please propose it on the forum since that's where we can grow. For right now, any thoughts on that? No, actually, I think the proposal is is pretty clear, uh, you know, to share with me the ideas of students through technology, but maybe also add us as professionals. Um, you know, this would be like for us professional development with what we're learning here. So maybe, maybe the, again, just a suggestion tying that in um, somehow as well. <clears throat> Okay, I added I added that to the to the notes, so okay. uh, we can figure that out at a later point. Okay, any other comments? I added professional development for now. I think it's great that you're you're um, addressing this now early, um, and it's always good to look at it like every year, you know, just to make sure it remains in. Uh, viable and uh, current. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So to go on to the next one, which would be Google Street View app 360 camera. All right. Hey, everybody. Again, this is Alfonso Mendoza uh, here, and I just wanted to share the Google Street View app for iOS and Android. So I just want I did include the links here in the notes for both for the Android version and the iOS version. Uh, but one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask for permission from Mr. Carlos if I may share or present my screen so I go can show it. you and demonstrate the app. So I'm going to go ahead and present my entire screen here. And there we go. Let me see. All right, so I'm presenting my whole screen here. So are you guys see my, my phone to the right of your window? Yeah. yeah. Okay, just wanna make sure. Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you. I thought that this was really, really neat. Um, I hadn't really explored Street View uh, in a while at all. And then I came into it and I said, you know what, let's play around with this a little bit. So if I open up Street View, I thought that this was really neat that you can just go once it opens up, let me see, it's a, either lagging a little bit there. Let me see, dismiss. Oh, come on. Let me see. <laughs> Presenting. Let me see. Let me double check this guy. Sorry, I apologize. Sometimes these things happen. And then there we go. Let's see. Might be that I just might need to do uh, an update. Let me do just a quick little restart here, and I do apologize. But so let me explain this. So once you open up the app, there is the option to go ahead and you can take pictures of exactly where you're at. And it does a great job with the 360. So I just wanted to demonstrate that with you. And then once I can get this going, because it does a really good job. I know that there's some wonderful cameras that are out there. And usually the, the camera would be just the more feasible uh, just because of the quality, the, you know, 360 cameras will do just a lot better job with that. But what I wanted to share with you is that it has the built-in camera. And of course, for some reason, it's just not uh, cooperating. So I might have to come back and do a short video there. But uh, let me show you, uh, let's see, I might have to reset this. Let me exit. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It always happens. Yep, it always happens. <laughs> All right. So uh, 
Well, anyway, what going along with that is the street view option is that now anywhere that you go, you can take photographs, you get that 360 view, you can go ahead and use them and place them. And then I guess also the more that you do that, um, Google also recognizes you as, um, I'm not sure if Carlos, you're familiar, I'm not too familiar with the street view, but they, they start posting your pictures and then they can, uh, they actually give you some, uh, or some shout outs and then you can build your way up into uh, being like a, an official person to post videos up there. I know one of our coworker or one of my coworkers there in the district who does that and uh, he is uh, recognized by Google there through being a, like a street view guide. I think that's the, the what they do. You become an actual guide there. Um, so let me see if I can go ahead and get air server going now again. Let me just uh, scan real quick. And with with doing that, you can see a definitely definite use case for you know even in the classroom for yourself with your students things that you can do uh, to just bring those trips the those locations to your students because sometimes you know our students can't go to certain places that we can like for example we'll be able to go to tca so if you're a history teacher i mean walking over to the capitol you'll be able to do something phenomenal there and i guess i'm just having some trouble with oh there we go so let's see if i can get it going now just so we can do a quick uh, little example and i believe it's probably still not going to work because there is some lag to it uh, but it happens so if you get a chance just download uh, the app and towards the bottom right, you'll see the little plus sign where you can take a picture, choose the 360 option, and then you can even be in your own room. You can take a picture of your classroom. If you're in a museum, you can stand in the middle of the museum, and then you can go ahead and do the 360 view there. So I, again, my apologies that I'm not able to show you, but I'll put up a video uh, later on after the, the meeting where you guys can go ahead and have the link and watch that and then you can go ahead and share it but that's one of the the new thing the neat things about uh, being able to use the google 360 view uh, so i just wanted to touch that on a topic there because again it it may be useful for the classroom students being able to go outside observe maybe do a math problem talk about locations talk maybe learn about building structures um, things of that sort so you can tie in a lot of a uh, stem to it so Again, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. And of course, just one of my main things that I always say, even though you may not be an expert in the tool, play around with it, play with it first, get comfortable, and you might be surprised how uh, wonderful uh, it may become and it could be very useful for your classrooms. So I wanted to share that with you guys. That's awesome. awesome. Hey, um, Carlos and uh, Alfonso, I had, um, a couple things come to mind while you were talking. Um, of course, um, there is such, I think what you're thinking of is the local guides. Yes, you're right. <laughs> in, in Google Maps. And um, I, I got into doing just, you can upload reviews and you can upload pictures. I've never tried a 360 or a video. Well, I think I might have done one video. But the more you upload and the more questions you answer, um, the more points you get and you, you get various levels. And it, it's kind of fun. My husband and I kind of have a little mini competition going on uh, the number <laughs> of points we get on local guides. So uh, like whenever we go to someplace like a train station, we think I think, you know, people might want to see this. So I'll take a picture and then um, upload it to the map. And um, if it's OK, I'll. Um, Carlos, is there a place where I can put a link on our agenda? Yes, right under his presentation. Just create okay. a new bullet. Okay. And then also, um, one of my innovator friends has something called Ed Pins, which is uh, his little tagline is uh, putting learning on the map. And uh, it's where schools, um, his, his project was that... Um, there are places for information about really cool and innovative things that are going on in, on the campuses. And uh, you can upload that information and then um, 
through ed pins and then uh, it, somehow it gets okayed by Google and you can uh, put the information like about your school if you have some really cool stuff going on at your school uh, so that people when they find your school they can look at it and find all these little projects and things like that. So I'm going to put that th both of those links on there and you guys can just um, uh, look at them. One is ed pins and the other one is the local guide, Google local guides. So what level are you on the local guides? I'm a level seven. Oh, so am wow. I. <laughs> nice that is really cool well there you go see you guys i'm talking to the experts here i'm trying to show something new that i learned but it's great because sometimes we may forget about those tools but it's great to know that now i can pick your brains on the topic and maybe how you've used it so excellent that worked out really well okay well, I, am, I have not done the 360 i'm so excited i need to learn how to do that but um that's one thing that i want to get better at so thank you for sharing that Okay, I uh, would like to add also to that. Let me see if I can share my screen here real quick. Oh, a window, which would be this one. Okay, I think I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to maps.google.com. And I'm going to search for region one. And I hope it takes you to region one educational service center. And if not, then you probably have to type the whole thing region one education service center. And as I zoom in and I get Pegman from the bottom right, you're gonna notice that as I'm trying to drag it, there's one, two, three, four, five circles where I can put it. And see if you recognize anybody in any of those circles. <laughs> and Notice that there's an arrow that appears. You can click mm -hmm. on it and it'll take you to a different location. Nice. Neat. Now, so that's I, at region one? Yes. Um, here I was using a, a very old camera, so it would take forever to take a picture. But for the most part, um, there's this one where you just see a sh like a ghost image of me because it takes <laughs> it needs to be everybody needs to stand still for like a really long time <laughs> either that or shoo everyone away yeah so what i had to do is just get a different camera that can do it right away so i've i'm trying well i wanted to continue doing that i just did it once to try it at region one and it's there mm -hmm still neat cool awesome yeah that's really neat um i know like i i have a an insta 360 um that i use and uh to play around with it and it just the quality is just wonderful and it's been uh very useful but i figured i was like you know a, a lot of us we have these computers these devices in our hands and oftentimes you know you may not have your camera with you but now you can use the that 360 feature and you can either share the video the the photos privately i think that's one of the things that i had seen that you can go ahead and do or you can make them public as well and uh, so again, it's just uh, something that is very useful and neat that I learned. And um, I just created, uh, I don't know if you saw me because I have the camera on, but I was actually recording and doing a screen recording on my uh, phone right now as we were doing that. And I have uploaded uh, that screen recording into uh, my Google Drive. So once it uh, processes and everything like that, I'll go ahead and uh, share that link in our in the agenda item. Uh, that way people can see that and then I can go ahead and share it on the page. And if we do have a little bit of time, maybe at the end, we'll, I'll just uh, play it if, if time permits. And then that way you can kind of see how cool it works. Oh, neat. That sounds fun. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you for sharing. Next on the agenda, 
there's a few donors, uh, Google contests that are going on. And so Google giving away money. And the first one is Doodle for Google. Um, there's this contest. The prize is going to be a college scholarship and a technology package for the school or nonprofit organization that is hosting this in their school. So this is something that you may want to look into for your schools. Uh, this is due. Let's see. When is it due? March 13. So I would suggest to have, well, it needs to arrive March 13. So I would suggest to do it a few days in advance because these things need to be mailed. Um, yeah. The other thing that Google is doing is that they're giving away some free money to use their CS First platform and their Applied Digital Skills platform. Um, if you look at the agenda, you're going to notice that there's this interesting one for Telpas and authentic right. There's this thing about authentic writing and creating a story to go along with with uh, programming. Hmm. And they can create an animation or a game out of it. But the main thing that I'm trying to get at here is with Telpas, there's also this need for voice recording. So if they can record their own voices as well, then it would serve as that. And not only that, but um, one of the lessons is a four through eight coding lesson. And Google will give you $100 towards uh, donors choose. Well, the teachers. And uh, one of them is, for example, characterization, dialogue, uh, figurative language, ELA related, but can be used for Telpas as well. Uh, the other one that they're doing is Code Your Hero. This one is open to just about any grade level. So because I'm high school, that's the one that I'm going to try out myself and hopefully get the hundred dollars for donors choose. And then there's this one called Applied Digital Skills. Before I get into the one that uh, is for money, first for the G Suite certification. So the first link that I have on the notes is the G Suite certification URL. And this gives you information about this certification, which is CCMR standard for Texas. I'm not sure if any other CCMR meaning college, career, and military readiness. So this one counts towards CCMR, unlike uh, Google level one, level two those do not count, but CCMR G Suite certification does count. And uh, the other one, this one does not count the second link, but if you do it with your students, it gives you $150. And it's, you can combine both actually, because no matter what, your students, if they're gonna be CCMR, they need all the help they can to go through the training. It's practically like a level two for teachers, but it's related to the business world instead of education. And there's uh, several things that they can do, like manage time with Google Sheets. And one of the ones that may be a bit more difficult to learn is the Google Sheets one. So hopefully with uh, with more practice using Google Sheets, the better the students will be able to perform on the G Suite certification test. So doing both would be great because not only do, do the students get G Suite certified, which is CCMR, and $150 for the teacher that is doing it towards uh, donors choose. 
Okay, and we're gonna end with some TCEA plants and then let's see what else we have afterwards. Dr. Jackson. Okay, uh, I just, um, uh, I know Carlos, you're going, uh, Alfonso, you're going, are you going to TCEA as well? Yes, I'll be there as well. All right. I'm Excellent. only there on Friday, however. Yeah, I'll, um, I'm volunteering, and um, I also, I think last time I was here, I was talking about super volunteering, where you, if you volunteer for eight hours, they will comp your registration fee. So that might be something inter uh, interesting for people to look at when they go to or think about going to other um, uh, other conferences like ISTE. And I know ISTE does it as well. So, um, but anyway, volunteer eight hours. And um, it's kind of cool because you get to know where things are and you can really get get think, get through the, the whole experience uh, pretty quick. And you meet a lot of really great people. Um, so it's, it's a fun way of getting in. Plus, you are the only one that has a seat in that room. So because if you're scanning someone, uh, you get to close the door and you and uh, you can get into various sessions um, for sure. So it's, it's kind of fun. Uh, but anyway, I'm uh, going to be there and I hope to see you all there. And uh, I know, Carlos, you, uh, I'll s probably see you Friday. All um, right. You yeah. get the Google Theater, right? I'll be there at the Google Theater. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'll be there Tuesday through Thursday. So that'll be middle of the week when, you know. So looking forward to that one. So I won't get to see you. No, no, we won't. We'll be, we won't coincide in those times. So we'll have to, we still have to come back to work on Monday. So, I mean, on Friday, excuse me, on Friday. So it's only for those couple of days, but I'm looking forward and hopefully I can run into you also, uh, Dr. Jackson and uh, meet you in person. And, uh, you know, that'll be great. That'll be neat. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be doing a Flipgrid class and then one on Makerspace. And then my Google one is on Google Sites. So uh, I'm pretty excited. I got some, I want to make it as interactive as possible. And uh, so uh, it's one of my highlights. It kind of informs the whole year and uh, it affects me the rest of the year, you know, just the things and the people that I meet. So I'm, I'm really pretty pumped about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll be participating Thursday with uh, Jamie Donnelly and the AR VR immersive experience. Oh, so we'll, we'll be there with a bunch of other people like uh, Rochelle Poth will be there. Uh, Kim Murphy, a lot of the, the AR VR community that will be there. So what will happen is we'll be working together and people will come in and there's going to be some stations set up and people that finish up those stations will go ahead and get a little goodie bag. The first hundred people that finish the, the little uh, stations that they go through using VR apps. And so it's just a kind of like a fun little uh, sandbox, you know, going yeah, through that and getting to know. So yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's exciting. And that's Thursday? Yes, that'll be Thursday from 9 to 11. Okay, cool. Oh, and I wanted to remind uh, your future listeners uh, to get the app. The app is really useful to help organize, and, and it ha you can pull up maps, mm -hmm. and it tells you, uh, you know, like when the keynotes are, and you can do put your schedule in there, and it'll send you reminders. It's uh, really a great app. All right, so if we see each other there, then we'll be – looking forward to that um any of them on the ones that you're presenting any of them on friday by chance uh no i'm sorry no um uh not on friday okay well that's fine um I'll share, I, I'll share links if you want <laughs> okay yeah share what you have on uh, on the forum that would be awesome okay as far as mine, um, if anybody interested, I'm going to be at the Google Theater at 8.30, presenting on Flip Classroom, specifically Jamboard. Nice. And that same day later on, I forget that time, but it's 11 or 11.30 on podcasting. Oh, cool. Nice. Is, and uh, do you what do you use for your podcasts, Carlo? 
Nice. Okay, well, um, quick preview. Uh, the things that I use are for recording. It just depends on what I'm doing. Like, for example, this one, because I do both video and audio. What I do with this one is I use Screencastify to record it. And then I use Audacity to convert it to audio. Ah, yeah. Carlos, uh, I had a question. Since yes. you use Screencastify then, so then do you use the audio that you pick up from Screencastify, like you download that audio file and put it in Audacity, or are you recording in Audacity at the same time? No, I do not burden the computer. Is I download the video and Audacity converts it. As long as you have the correct plugins installed, Audacity oh, okay. will convert it to uh, MP3. Awesome. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. And that's to record Screencastify for this specific podcast or for our meetings. For what's the other one we do? The other one I do is um, Zencaster. If I'm going to be recording somebody remotely, um, then there is. Let me look at the name of this one. Zoom. That's another way to record that one one on one is free. Mm -hmm. But if you have multiple guests at the same time, there's a limit to 40 minutes, which is fine with me. Free is good. Um, yeah. Unless I'm going to I know I'm going to go over the 40 minutes, I will not pay for the month. I've been uh, experimenting with we video for podcasting. It's kind of my first I have experience with the, the program, so I thought, well, let's try that. So um, I, I like it. With video, yes, I like it. Um, not for podcasting. It's mm. Since it's not free and I don't have the money for all of that stuff, yeah. so it's uh, difficult. The free version of WeVideo video is five minutes per month. Mm. That would make yeah. it very <laughs> difficult for me. <laughs> short, short, short. Yes. So that's for recording. Then for editing, if I need to edit, I use um, Audacity. Hmm. It's a very robust recording system. And finally, for host, I used to pay for a host. But again, money is difficult. So now I use Anchor, anchor.fm. Yeah. Yeah. And because they also sponsor my show. And they also will will uh, distribute it to the others. That's yes. That's one thing I noticed. That's what I, I record with WeVideo and then upload it to Anchor. And um, and it's, it's nice because it goes out everywhere. And then you can just use their embedding tool to put those episodes on your website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. All right, I like so, it. And that's my podcasting experience in a nutshell, but I'll extend all of that information in a 50 minute presentation. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope so. I'm going to try sure, to. For sure. Uh, I was going to do a uh, programming joke, but I, was, I thought it'd be too basic. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope the jokes that I put in the middle of uh, my presentation are okay. That's good. I like those, man. You're, I like them. I like them a lot. I, I, I love the, the recent one um, that you did about the boulder. Oh, I was like, oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> and, and somebody replied, "You rock." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's a good one. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did put uh, the screen recording uh, demo link on there. It is through uh, done. It's there in the notes for the street view. But I don't know if we have a little bit of time. I, I can share the screen and I know it'll work just to kind of walk you through or so you can at least get a, an idea of the platform. And uh, so I don't know if we have time for that. Uh, Technically, we have 20 minutes left. Okay, so would it be okay, Carlos, just to share the screen? And this time I know that the, the video will work. <laughs> yeah, so, go for it. Okay, perfect. So let me go ahead and uh, share the entire screen again here. 
All right, and I'll just go ahead and just open it from here. Uh, can you guys see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, cool. So again, just the, the street view, I open up the app and then just there at the bottom right, I just click the option and then take the 360 photo and then you just get these dots. So don't mind the mess in my, <laughs> in my office space, uh, but you just focus in on those dots and uh, I'll just, let me see if I can. Uh... You still have those Walmart merch cubes? Oh yeah, I still have those there. Yeah, those are going to be worth gold someday. <laughs> I'm just, I don't, no, I'm actually going to take some to TCEA also just to do like a little giveaway. But so pretty much it stitches the the photos together. And then you've got your 360 there. Hit, click the little check mark and uh, it'll publish. So here at the bottom, it'll start publishing. And then uh, you'll be able to see your picture coming up right now where you can kind of just go through it there you go and then i just did a de little demo how it looks so i mean it's not the best quality as you can see and obviously i wasn't taking my time doing the the pictures but at least it's something there that you can have handy so it's something pretty neat um so again i just learned about it today and i said like wow this could be amazing like if TCA as a teacher, go to the yeah. Capitol, take some pictures there, some monuments, things of that sort, because sometimes a, a lot of our students don't get that experience of being able to go to those places. So why not bring those places to them in a way? And then, and of course, there's other tools like Tour Creator, uh, things of that sort that you can use also and implement. Uh, but here, it would be something that you yourself created, and then you can have the students go and create around the school, things of that sort, and learn mapping, learn you know how to use your phone properly. And uh, so I thought it was really neat. <laughs> That's really cool. And um, another one, if you want to do something like that, I know the Google Pixel has that feature on the camera app. And I believe the camera app is available for just about anybody that has Android. I don't know about uh, iPhone, but I think it's available for Android. I mean, for I'm pretty sure it's available for Android. I'm not sure about iPhone. Um, and the feature is called uh, Photosphere. Oh, okay, Photosphere. I think I've heard of it. I need to check that out. But that's a good resource. I'm make a note of that. <laughs> and it does the same thing. It's well, it's Google, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like you saw it on Street View. It's going to be the same thing on the Google Camera app, and mm -hmm. it'll stitch them together. So there's no need to have a 360 camera. You can just use your phone. That's cool. Yeah, it's uh, on my iPhone. I could. It has Photosphere Viewer. But I don't see the app should be called uh, Google Camera, and then a feature within Google Camera would be since I don't have a non Google Android phone, I'm not sure. Yeah, but um, I, I don't know about iPhone. I'm sure there has to be something with iPhone that does the same thing. Sure. There are different, yeah. Cool. It's where it, there. There are op, Looks like options. There. Three sixty camera, but I don't know if it's no. That one's not Google. Anyway, sorry. Distracted. <laughs> As we are. <laughs> something new appears and all of a sudden yeah i'm like that I'm gonna have it right there <laughs> all right so anything else anybody else want to share something mm, no actually everything's oh well, actually canva guys if you haven't had or applied for your educator account it's definitely worth it 
Definitely. Uh, and it's a, it's a process. It, it takes a little bit of time before they get back to you, but they'll ask you a couple of questions, your class, like your class size, what you're going to be using it for. And then they'll ask for a form of identification from the school, like you've been working there or, or as far as your position. So I sent that up and it took about maybe three days and then I received an email. And then, so once I logged in, it just gave me like all the premium stuff for free, um, all the the elements and things of that for for design. And so I got to design uh, one of my shirts uh, with one of the logos that I've been working on. And uh, so that's been a lot of fun, but for school purposes, getting the kids on there, uh, build, creating infographs and all that, it, it's just a wonderful tool. So I highly recommend that if, if you haven't had an opportunity and I'll go ahead and pop that link in there too, as a just FYI for the Canva educator. Uh, that way you can go ahead and check that out. Awesome. I mean, Canva free version is pretty good. I'm, I'm wondering yeah. how much better it's going to be. Beautiful. All right. And um, Carlos, on that, is there a specific place you want me to put that link? Do you want me to just put it at the bottom under the TCA plans for like additional? In I'll just put a something that says additional info, maybe. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sounds good. There we go. So there's the link that'll take you there, and then you can just fill out all that information. Awesome. Okay. So anything else? We have about 10 minutes, or we can call it. I'm, I'm good. Same here. I'm good. All right. Well, thank you so much for being part of uh, today's meeting, and um, I guess we'll see each other again, either on ESTE, I'm sorry, TCEA or our next meeting. Okay. Sounds good. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Thank you. Y'all have a great evening, guys. Enjoyed it. Goodbye.